I guess first I could say tonight we have we have a special guest Skype or uh, uh, skyping in from New York as she finished shooting early. We have Ashley Johnson will be joining us tonight as Pike. Maybe she's almost too scale as Pike right now. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join us tonight. You guys are in for a treat for uh, watching how Dungeon Master incorporates a character suddenly in the middle of the <laughs> Are you sure? We don't want to play Angry Birds. I turned back so towards the villagers. Oh, I think we do. Who are probably running up at this point and yell, Fire! Bring fire! You see Keeper says, Fire won't help, but I can. Oh. Oh. And so can she. Oh. Oh. As he looks over his shoulder, you can see the, uh, the villagers are parting and there is running behind them this, this form of a, a small humanoid armored entity but glowing. Her actual, <laughs> form, her actual form is is comprised of glowing radiant energy, like an actual avatar of Saren Rain, the form of a tiny gnome cleric who's charging through the, the, the rain. Each droplet of rain that hits her body tss, just immediately evaporates on impact, and she comes charging towards Whoa! you guys. You I'm reaching, right I'm now, reaching down to help to help her up on the top of the wall. <gasps> As you I'm guys grabbing see Percy's me. arm and lowering him yep. down lower because she's short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys reach out and uh, she runs up, uh, Keeper Yenin reaches up and grabs uh, on the arm as well. As she gets up and the two of them together lift up on top. And as you grab her arm, it's strange. It's warm to the touch, warmer than a natural arm, and it doesn't have full physical essence to it. It's almost like she's partially an apparition of her physical self. There is, there is purchase, there is an actual form to it, but it doesn't feel fully solid. Uh, she's lost <laughs> weight. <laughs> <laughs> you look so thin. All right. With that, you lift her up, and she's lighter than you recall, and almost like a gentle feather of herself, she lands on her toes in the top of the wall. She was light already. I know. Pike! Even in full armor. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Pike, did we die? <laughs> no, 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 you're still alive, you're still alive. How did you get here? What are you doing here? How did you get here? Oh gosh, it's a long story. I don't know if we can talk about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to fight anything right now? Yes. yes. Lots of skeletons. Yeah. As, as, and you looked down before you, and there there is a, a a horde of skeletons that are right now about to crush the wall. You see two right now that are lashing out. One reaches for your leg. Uh, Scanlan leaps up, and you land next to Pike. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. Man, you look good. Uh, oh man, I'm so distracted by your beauty. Hey, let's let's kick some ass together, shall we? Kick some ass. Come on, let's go. <laughs> And with that, uh, both Scamman and Pike, what do you guys want to do? Uh, ladies first. Oh, Am I allowed to jump off? Can I jump off of the wall? Oh, you can, yeah. Or into the group? Yeah. You can, yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to try. I kind of want to see what happens if I if I I try to cast turn undead. Turn or destroy yeah. undead. You have access to both, technically. All right. So, I need you to go make an athletics check to see how far you can jump. Given that circumstance, uh, a feather. <laughs> you in, in, in this this semi radiant form, you just yeah. you're back and leap into the air, and for a split second, you see with a flash of light, almost like these momentary feather angel wings, just burst out of the shoulder <gasps> of, of pipe, that whoosh, flap once, and then disperse into uh, sparkling feathers that vanish under the rain. Yes. As Pike leaps out, landing 35 feet in the center of this, what? on top of a skeleton. Uh, you slide down its body as its shield pushes you off to the ground and you land on your feet. And as far as you can tell from your eyeline, all you see are chattering skulls and blades around you for all visual perspectives and a little bit of the skyline above you, a little bit of the clouded night sky. So Pike, are you going to use your action to uh, destroy undead? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you, as you see all the skeletons begin to reach for you and their blades come pulling down towards your armor, you curl into a ball, clutch your holy symbol of Saren Ray, and through the connection that has allowed you to be here in this moment, you feel this welling up radiant energy just burst out from you in this shock wave of uh, glowing uh, radiant force, just <clears throat> blast outward. For that entire blast wave radius, um, which would be uh, the entirety of this road leading back for about uh, 60 feet? You end up turning to ash roughly 36 of these skeletons. Whoa! Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just poosh, the rain itself is disintegrated by the, the sudden wave of heat, and there's just 
uh, a cloud of ash that turns to mud immediately against the rain and slams against the nearby buildings, slowly dripping <gasps> down the sides. Uh, pieces of metal armor just go slamming to the ground, rolling <laughs> into piles and piles of currently unused weapons. Um, Our jaws are just. Yeah. By the way, can I just say, that's my girlfriend who just did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the giant where the open wound is. Yep. That guy just just broke it open. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my mace. Yeah. And I'm gonna start ripping where that wound is. Matt, while she's rolling, okay. can you just describe her hair at this moment? Is it whipping around? <laughs> is it in her face? Is it covering her eyes in sort of a sexy, sweaty way? Added with jam. Can I? He's ignoring, He's ignoring you. you. <laughs> so as you as you rush up on the side of it, your sprinter's boots carrying you. This 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 blur of divine gnomish energy. You see through her somewhat shimmering, radiant form, the hair itself glistens against the rain. It almost doesn't even touch. Uh, somehow immaculate in the middle of combat. You, you find it slow motion in your head, and for that brief moment, you remember how much it hurt to see her go and how happy you are to have her here. Um, however, you in the middle of your battle trance, Pike, rush up, shield ahead, you take the mace, and seeing the open wound, slam the mace in there once, wham, as you hit, the actual undead flesh burns away from the impact, leaving this kind of ashy swath of missing flesh in its body. A creature gives out this weird, gurgly bellow as the missing jaw goes Rrrr! Using that moment as it as it rears back, how do you want to do this? She's gone, she ran away. She took her headphones off and did a lap. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the, the, oh, the, the, the magical okay, power of this um, is the magical power of this is essentially destroying the creature. So describe this however you want to in your radiant cleric form. I, I, I okay, I want him I want him to sort of uh, just 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 explode. With a, with a radiant glow. Okay, so uh, you, as he re reaches back, you kind of see this this uh, foothold on its knee as it's it's kind of trying to keep itself alive. You leap up using your spinner's boots onto one of its knees, jump in the air, dropping your shield and two hands on your mace. You leap in the air, slam it downward as it, the mace impacts on the front of its chest. There's this brief moment of pause as it <laughs> cracks into its flesh. Its head looks down at you and there's a burst of divine energy as this entire torso just poof, rips open. Uh, what would be organs with inside exposed, however, are all also turned to ash as the whole body just just dissipates and disintegrates, falling into a puddle of uh, liquid, messy, uh, muddy ash and bits and pieces of remaining giant there as Pike lands on the ground, three-point landing, mace in one hand, walks over, picks up her shield again, and kind of looks over her shoulder at Grog and Scanlan. Can I, can I faint? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Really appreciate Ashley, it. Ashley, we love you. Love All you right. so much. Love you guys so much. We love you, Ashley. Love you.